सर नमस्कार थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग अवर रिक्वेस्ट एंड कमिंग टू अवर स्टूडियो थैंक यू फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी यू आर इनटू कंप्लीटली इनटू डेवलपमेंट साइड राइट एंड कस्टमर सो कैन वी डिस्कस अबाउट समथिंग अबाउट डेवलपर्स द डेवलपमेंट बिफोर ए एंड आफ्टर ए सर आ श्योर दैट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक नाउ इट इज बिकॉज़ एआई हैज चेंज्ड लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स पॉजिटिवली एज़ वेल एज़ नेगेटिवली Uh, positive things are a lot of things which ai which uh, a, a human can do as an uh, repetitive jobs can be done by ai but obviously there are certain misuse of ai uh, if we focus on development part here so prior to that people are like searching on the google so before google there was like uh, we used to search on the books like lot of books for finding any answer then the google came and then uh, there was also like when we are using the microsoft technologies there was msdn was there and then obviously when google came it has uh, got all the information and we used to find everything on the single click of search we used to get lot of articles and there are uh, lot of artic- uh, uh, there are lot of basically uh, articles like stack overflow and uh, other uh, areas wherein we can uh, discuss about the technology part but uh, and we used to get find the solution yes. but from once this AI came specifically if we talk from the chat gpt or uh, gemini or maybe many, many other has came now people are just putting certain queries get in a piece of code and directly writing and implementing into the program yes now that part is good for learning part but when we go into production or any active code which is part of any development or any mobile app or any web app or any any kind of application that becomes a very huge challenge yes. because whatever they have learned is not authentic or verified yes. and it's not necessarily correct for that application obviously it's us to de- determine whether we should really use that piece of code for that purpose or not yeah so what is my concern is about security see when we discuss discuss the copying and pasting of the code sir what is the main uh, concern about uh, security or cyber security or vulnerabilities in that code So how it affects security part honestly speaking nowadays nobody uh, care about the security part everyone is just dumping the code writing the code whether it is from articles or some open repositories on the github or any other platform uh, it may have and just implementing and adding into the code nobody is bothered about the security so first the people need to l- made aware about the security part the developers need to made aware about the security part because that's not is happening right now we give them training on let's say python we give them training on node js angular and and so on but nobody gives training on like how to write a secure code secure. what exactly needs to take care if i'm writing a mobile app and i'm posting my api on on on, on, on a cloud or own hosted servers what security precautions we need to take nobody is bothered about that rather that is not taught anywhere so that is a kind of biggest concern we have seen and so many nowadays the influencers the social media influencers are just posting just in 2 minutes you create uh, this app that have and it does how far it sustain the sustainability of the 2 minute uh, developed uh, application what is the credibility and the sustainability of that yeah so obviously you can't create uh, like uh, erp from uh, whatever that uh, uh, even do you call it a chat gpt or something because again it has got this information from something whatever is openly available it has captured that information and representing it for uh, better usage but it's not meant for the development it's definitely just for the learning purpose and certain tasks you can automate like agents and all those things which you can obviously create so certain manual part has uh, been can be converted into uh, these kind of things like the ci cd pipelines or something which is again kind of ai thing which is technically doing by that own way uh, but not the development part obviously development we have to do we have to apply the logic we have to understand the requirements we have to understand the security requirements nowadays we need to draft the security requirements first and implement it in the code yes. unless and until the people know about it then only they can write about right uh, secure code secure code yes. the secure architecture how it takes in the main role of uh, developing so development is not only a simple job it should have a architecture for strike right. place and uh, uh, the complete uh, structure the flow processes can you please explain uh, how it uh, plays a major role so like if you talk from any banking application now there is a pci dss exist in existence which uh, uh, ensures that application has all the uh, levels of security testing mechanism their implementation storage of the data encryption and all that stuff so that kind of uh, environment is not there in other applications if i want to do an android or ios app 
I'll simply go create the app in like maybe a, a hybrid environment or the native environment and just do the coding, host the APIs and that's it. But that's a very initial part. Now what we are storing over there is a data. Now the problem is that data is critical. Nowadays in digital environment, everything is a data. So if I'm hosting an app, obviously I'm getting certain credentials. That credentials might be someone's username, password or someone's existing username, email, password also they can enter into this. Yes. So now if I'm not keeping that data safe, someone might come get that entire bunch of data and use it for all their malicious purposes. That is what is basically a problem happening into the existing industry, though the breaches what we hear in news or read it into articles or somewhere posted into the certain cyber security uh, uh, bulletins. Yes. There we hear like every day there is something is happening and it is happening because of poor architecture. So unless and until your architecture is clear, you understand what is uh, the threat and you apply uh, mitigate it by putting a certain uh, appropriate uh, constraints at every level, validations, uh, securing your APIs, then encrypting your data. So everything is mandatory, everything is uh, needed. Otherwise then uh, these things will directly open up a pile of data which has got a large meaningful value. Now if someone goes to the bank and get, they'll get everything, all the credit card details, all the bank details, all the financial details, and it can reach into financial fraud. Definitely. Thank you so much, sir. This actually enlightened us. And uh, what is uh, the buddies, the buddy developers, the buddy coders? What you give uh, as a suggestion? Because now everyone is thinking that there is no requirement of developers, nothing. AI can do anything. Something things are happening. Uh, trends so, for AI. A lot of things are happening. A lot of speculations we can see on social media also. My personal belief is there is a technology disruption which has happened before also, and it is going to happen. But it's not going to change the basic things because. Development is not something that, okay, you can come and do something. It's a logic you have to put behind, you have to understand the architecture, you have to deploy it, and you have to ensure it is keep running successfully. As you mentioned, like what's, if someone develops a code in a two minutes, okay, what's the sustainability? Whether it can sustain for 20 years, may not be. Yes. But if someone writes a code in that angle that my code has to be there in 20 years next, it should be keep and running, then it will keep and running. The uh, things has atomized in industry so large that there are so many good people contributing to it and it is working exceptionally fine. So anything, if they are short-sighted and putting it vision, it will last short-sighting, limited only. There will be impact on jobs and a lot of other stuffs on maybe developer also, but not the logic because logic is something which you think from your own mind. You take a decision, you write a code and then accordingly you navigate all through all those things. It's not a simple task when you do from a development point of view. Obviously, okay. it has got certain skill set. And that is not going to die or change just because AI has came up or maybe after 20 years something new has come up. It is going to be there. The human logic is the heart of the, heart of, heart of the, <laughs> the coding. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, that's a, it's a very well taken point, sir. And uh, see, uh, as a developer, as a coder, so what is the main constraints, like main important things to keep in mind when they are doing the process of coding? So first of all, awareness is the primary part the developer should be aware that okay if i am responsible for writing certain piece of code then that code piece of code should be secure now when we do anything we ensure when we talk from security i always give examples of like our home or office we ensure our doors are locked while living to the home if our children are there we ensure everything is locked so the same thing when we are creating any app creating any portal website anything we sh it should be secure nobody should other person who is not intended to use that the data or use that piece of uh, uh, software or the uh, data inside that, that should not be allowed. So all the authentication mechanism should be correct. Uh, they should not think that, okay, uh, if I'm writing an API, then who, they are not bothered if that API is hit 10,000 times within a minute. Because they are not having a proper authentication, they are not having a proper mechanism to check that because they, are, they don't know even that part. So first they should be known that, okay, if anything is there, it's an possibility that it can be attacked for a brute force to get certain credentials of that and use that data for some other malified intentions. So that has to be secured first. If your door is secured and then inside you have a door, then you have vault. Vault is also locked. Doesn't mean that door is locked, your vault is open and just like that. So you have a security everywhere in your house. Same way in application also, you should have a compartmentalization, you should have security and that should come into your architecture. Once it is there in architecture, the developer who is going to develop knows that okay i have to also adhere to certain security protocols certain security constraints or some mitigations that has to be a part of my code and second is you we do the reviews we do the peer reviews code reviews 
but we don't do the security review of that code. Yeah. Now that security review is must. If I'm using, let's say Node.js or Python, it has come up with a lot of pre-built packages. Now those pre-built packages may not be the uh, completely secured. So again, those things also has to be tested. There are certain commands uh, like in uh, NPM or PIP like audit. Nobody uses audit command. Everybody lets down, get the get install, upgrade, and that's it. Nobody even people may not know the audit command also. But that audit command will verify the packages whether are marked as a secured or not. And even GitHub also has an advanced security tool. Azure also has the same. Yes. So a lot of uh, other tools are also there which uh, identify the security part of every component which you are using as an open source. Open source community has given a lot of things, but that does not mean everything is secured and we have to use it as it is. Yes, that is uh, very well taken point, sir. So now actually uh, my uh, question is, so we are uh, just talking about this, uh, see what coders thinks, like the developers think security is not my job. Security part is not my job. My job is to develop something and give it the testers and they will do their job. Is it so? Definitely not. See, when we do the design, whether it's you design design for a building, a home or a software, everything is safe. You design, you build the doors, you build windows, you build airflow, and then also you do the security. How you are going to lock your doors. Now you also want, you don't uh, suffice with one door. You also want an additional door to be placed on your home. Why is that? It is just because the security is the most important thing. The same in the software. Your architecture should say, okay, I will not rely on single factor authentication. I will rely on multi-factor or two-factor authentication. That's a minimum. Now, to do that, again, developer has to write a code to ensure that my program is sufficient for two-factor or multi-factor authentication. Unless and until he'll write that piece of code, the program will not be enabled for any kind of authenticator. Tomorrow, I may use a change authenticator. I may not use OTP. I may use any Microsoft or Google's authenticator. But the program should be sufficient enough for that. Tomorrow, I may go for a single sign-on kind of thing. But again, to enable that, I need to write a code. So it's a developer job. Developer is given that responsibility to develop something. Tester's responsibility is merely to test it. Even though tester should also test from the security point of view. But again, that's the tester's responsibility. You cannot pass the bug just as it is saying that, okay, it's his job. He will do his job. But as a developer, he also needs to do his job. Yeah, that, that's uh, very well explained, sir. Yeah. Sir, any three simple steps to uh, the uh, developers? Uh, first, the, as I mentioned, awareness that awareness of security is must for that then they should learn the best practices about every step they are doing they are doing an authentication so they should know about what kind of secure authentication mechanisms are there if they are hosting an api they know how to control that api they are writing a data on disk they should understand that data is critical and it should be encrypted uh, and most important thing is uh, like to ensure that whatever they are writing the piece of code has to be secured enough so that tomorrow because of that any other actor than uh, the user should not be intending to use it in malefied intentions. So that's a basic responsibility of developer and he should never forget that responsibility. Once he do that, I don't see seeing a challenge from that point of view that he will understand clearly and he will deliver correctly. The secure coding. Secure coding. Yeah. So uh, any institute is offering this secure coding? Uh... Uh, yeah. So ISEA uh, of MIT actually has developed this pro uh, program by the help of uh, CDAC Hyderabad and they are offering these courses uh, in uh, as a part of uh, CISO and uh, of secure coding and the awareness part. So there are a lot of pro programs are going on right now and uh, uh, for one of the program I also like got an opportunity to, to present a lecture uh, to the team. So and uh, I'm also like uh, now associated with that part. So. Uh, there are great initiatives basically being held by uh, government of India and our mighty and uh, these programs ICA will definitely have a bright future because these are very important things for the people India we are calling it as an IT hub but they don't if they don't understand security then we are lacking a big thing over there and that's a very essential part and uh, it's a, a great initiative yeah sir uh, how uh, it is different uh, that is uh, like coding is code but how it different for mobile application development and also is that anything difference is there uh architecture wise there are differences but if you see the basic principles are same if i am like as i mentioned if i am doing an authentication my authentication should have should be enabled for multiple uh, factor authentications secured authentications and there are frameworks which are already available provided by cloud apps or certain apps 
so we can also use that which takes care of lot of things so which takes care of lot of burden from the developer uh, again if you are going in native development there are certain uh, things which has to be followed which is a platform specific if you are going in hybrid development obviously then mostly it is relying on the api parts again in if you are going in api parts if you are using cloud cloud is taken again taking care lot of our network segmentation filtering api uh, security uh, 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 then a uh, uh, logging uh, logging part so wherever if we can understand if any animal is happening if that is not happening then that taken has to be care from the uh, developer or the deployment that secure deployment is also part of that so mostly uh, the type of development may change but the basic remains okay sir thank you sir thank you so much for uh, coming to our studio and uh, delivering the valuable points thank you thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to present myself over. thank you, thank you.